In this part of the course, we're going to discuss the difference between storing data in Excel and storing it in Access. In Excel, generally, you store the data in a flat database. What I mean by that is that you've got one table that contains all of the information. Here's an example, which you'll find in the files that I've provided for you. It's the Camera Off product list Excel file. And you've got your list of products here, essentially 20 products. And you've got all the product information here. But you've also got, for every row, all the supplier information. So we need to know for each product who our supplier is. The problem with storing data in this way is it's extremely inefficient. And I'll give you some examples of why that is the case. For example, our products here obviously use different suppliers, but there'll be more than one product that uses the same supplier. For example, catering supplies to you is used many times, you can see in this list. Whenever I create a product in this database that uses catering supplies to you, I have to write all this information out each time. It's the same information, but it's got to be entered into the database each time I create a product. What's more, if I need to make a change to the supplier details, catering supplies to you, maybe it's the contact name or email address or something like that, I've got to make that change to each instance of the supplier in my database. And if you've got thousands and thousands of products, you can imagine how time consuming that could be. Hopefully you can see that this is not an efficient way to store your data. Now I'm going to show you the same data, but in an Access database. I'm just going to move to Access. And this file is also available to you. And basically we've got the same information here. We've got the products table, which contains the product information, but it doesn't contain the supplier information. And we've got a separate table that contains the supplier information. Now, what we do in Access is we split the data up into separate tables. So all the related information is together. And then we join the information back together via relationship. And we'll go into this in more detail later on through the course. But just for now, I want you to get the concept that we're splitting the information up into separate tables, and then we're relating the information back together using field relationships. I'll just show you the relationship view here. What we're actually doing in this database is we're linking fields between the two tables. I've got the product information all here and the supplier information here. Well, what I've got is this little field here called supplier code that links to the information in the supplier table. That means I only need to store each supplier information once within the database, but I can refer to it many times in the product table. Now, what that creates for you is a much more efficient way of storing the data. But for example, if I go to the suppliers table and I expand catering supplies to you here, you'll see that all the products that relate to that particular supplier are listed underneath that supplier. And I can do the same for direct baking supplies. Those are all the products that they supply. So I only need to store the information once for each supplier and relate all the products to that supplier via field relationships. That's what we're hoping to achieve during this course, moving from a flat database to a relational database. Now, there are other advantages to using Access over Excel. And what I've done here is given you a little link that you can click on, and that'll take you to a Microsoft page, which will explain all the advantages. I'm not gonna go into them in a great amount of detail here. There's something you can read but it will tell you, for example, when to use Access and when to use Excel. And it goes into some detail on that. Okay, that's all that's gonna be covered in this part of the course. Have a look at those files. Make sure you can kind of understand the concept here, the difference between a flat database and a relational database.